In Beijing's E-Town, there's a shopping mall dedicated entirely on robots. Let's see what's inside. Oh. The giant robotic hand seemed to announce the era of robots in display windows has officially arrived. More than 100 kinds of robots get lifetime care, integrating robot sales, spare parts supply, after-sales service, and information feedback. Every robot has a clear price tag. Even among humanoid robots alone, the price gets so staggering. Two humanoid robots can carry price tags differing by tenfold. The manager noted that supply chain maturity and robotic functionality are critical factors behind pricing. Most robots currently serve specialized functions. Their capabilities vary significantly across different contexts like industrial settings, medical applications, and daily companionship. This functional divergence directly impacts production costs. I wonder will factory owners actually spend 2 million RMB or like less than 300,000 US dollars on the logistics part and a transport droid. For B2B clients, the majority procure industrial or task-specific robots. E-Town currently offers sales subsidies for these professional-grade machines. On the consumer side, chess playing and companion robots dominate the on-site sales. Total revenue has reached nearly 15 million RMB or 2 million US dollars. Are you really willing to purchase one like this or one like that? Uh, yes, yes. We will have a big demand in the future because it's a, it's a new area of a new direction in the whole world, like a cars. A physical space makes robots visible and tangible, not just for interactive demos, but for side-by-side -side comparisons that simplify purchasing decisions. And finally, people can say there's a place to buy robots. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Beijing.